I'm not the biggest fan of making evaluations from guys when they're working out in t-shirts and shorts. Game is played in pads for a reason, so very different. Every offseason, every team has some guy that looks great in OTAs and minicamp and then doesn't even sniff the roster in training camp. So anything player performance-wise, take it with a little bit of a grain of salt. But with that said, there are a few things that I'll be keeping an eye on as the Jaguars start OTAs. Now, uh, one big one for me is going to be Devin Lloyd. As a rookie, Lloyd made some splash plays. Looked great, was even player of the month. And then he ended up spending a lot of time on the bench late in the season because he was just missing some assignments. This will be the first step of figuring out if Lloyd has a better grasp on the defense than he did toward the end of last season a year ago, which would be big because he's a very talented player with a skill set that could allow the Jaguars to move him all over the defense and do some different things. But in order to do that, you have to have a good foundation to build off of first. So we'll get a look at that. Another guy that's worth keeping an eye on is Evan Ingram, and that's just seeing if we see him. We'll be waiting to see if Ingram shows up. He still hasn't signed that franchise tag tender. Ingram and the team still have some time to work out that long-term deal, but it, he has to get it done at some point, and hopefully he gets it done before the team fit, wraps up mini camp and OTAs and before training camp. That's anybody's guess if they can get it done. Even if Ingram's first time out on the field is the first day of training camp, he's a guy that without a doubt will show up lock loaded and ready to go. I trust that. And the biggest thing for me that's worth watching is how the Jaguars handle that nickel spot on their defense. Defense looks pretty good, but there are a few question marks. Trent Baalke said that during the draft, the team is pretty comfortable of rolling with Trey Herndon at that spot as the roster stands right now. But there's really not much competition for him inside of the organization. So it'll be interesting to see how that rotation starts and if a second-year guy like a Gregory Jr. or if any of the guys from this year's rookie draft class are able to really apply some pressure. Even if they don't ultimately win the job, competition is what can really maybe bring the best out of Trey Herndon and just make the Jaguars' defense a better position group altogether. All